What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Finally getting around to doing my LCAs. As I mentioned previously, I was going to get a guy to extend them and it was going to take a bit, but uh, I ended up having a subscriber. If you watch the last video, shout out to Dale for hooking me up with the LCAs so I can get to it today. Um, also, hopefully my rails for my seats are up. Or actually, it's only one rail because I'm on a bit of a budget. Things are pricey as. 350 bucks or something delivered from Japan for like a genuine bride rail shit's pricey but uh yeah so hopefully that rocks up today and then i can go pick up my seat anyways lcas are up there i've just got to jack up the car got my block still don't have the seat so it's a bit tricky driving if you guys didn't notice also i gave the car quite a good clean it's uh ready for the new seats quite tidy besides the centers and the tools but we on the block i don't have like a wheel brace that uh fits in the holes so i'm using like this long socket it's pretty pretty annoying man now that we cracked the wheel nuts we can jack it up a bit higher Ooh. i'm thinking i'm probably going to keep these abs wheels just because i don't know probably just for skidders and they're like a discontinued they look good when they're like the right fitment i feel like i um could have made them look a bit better but So I don't have any jack stands, so I'm just going to slide this stock wheel under the, um, the sump. Where's your bloody jack stand, man? First step, bend the, the pin so it's straight, and then grab some pliers or something and whoop, unscrew that. And it should just whoop, drop out. Alrighty. Now you should just be able to bang that out with a rubber mallet or something. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe if I loosen that. The following day. Back out here working with my car. Got the wheels off. Managed to get the tie rods out. It was a bit of a whack. I was using the rubber mallet. Turns out I just needed a, a bigger hammer. This is Noxie, by the way. Say hello. Hiya. This is YouTube. YouTube. YouTube, yeah. This is my nephew. He uh, likes to come out and help me with my car and stuff. So anyways, Leroy managed to come over yesterday, get the tie rods undone. Um, we didn't have a shifter. I'll show you the other side. Hey. We didn't have a shifter big enough to get the end of the, the tie rod out down there. But I thought instead of trying to get it done quickly, the LCAs that I got the other day, the ball joints sort of like pretty cooked. So I thought why not grab some freshies, voila. So I've got a couple of freshies to put into the LCAs so that they're nice and fresh when they go in. And then also, if you haven't seen it already, in the background, my new seat arrived, finally. This is actually the only zebra thrash seat in Australia right now. Only four thrash seats in the whole of Australia and I got the only zebra one. So freaking stoked. Shout out to Thrash for helping me out with that one. And Jeff, you're a legend. Anyways, Knox, do you, do you want to sit in the chair? Let the viewers know how it is. Ooh, good or bad? Um, good. Good, yeah. Why is it good? This is good. Cause is it comfortable? Yeah. Does it look cool? Yeah. Finally got myself a fixed back. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So keen to put it in. Also got some genuine bride rails to go with them. I'm from Jesse Streeter. I'm sure most of you know Jesse. He's a pretty reliable parts source in Japan. I only got one of the seats at the moment because like I mentioned, there's only one of them in Australia. The pair to it should be here, I'm thinking January, but I'm not too sure. So if it's any longer, I might just grab like a, a standard passenger seat to put in for now, but dun, 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 dun. wooden chair is gone. Should we open the box, Noxie? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah? YouTube Kids. You, oh, you know YouTube Kids. This isn't YouTube Kids though. This is YouTube Adults. This is where it's at. Hiya. I'll just go through the tie rods quickly. I was really meant to film it, but uh, I didn't get around to it because I got stuck on the tie rod. Yeah, it's pretty much ready to come out except for that tie rod, the big shifter. I didn't have a shifter big enough to get to it, so I'm gonna have to get to that. Hey, I don't 
don't think the car need to be blowed. As soon as I get the LCAs back with the fresh ball joints, I'll pretty much get everything out and put the new stuff in. Free stuff put in, we are in. Yeah. Yay! Yay, it's open. What? Newspaper. Japanese newspaper. What's happening in the news today? Bad. Bad news, you're right. Ooh. Jesus. So that's the rails, apparently. So we got one big bag of stuff. We got a rail. Pretty cool. That's your rail. Two rails. That's not it's pretty hard to uh, get anywhere with a toddler. I can carry. It's heavy. Is it heavy? That's not nice. 24 hours later. Alrighty, guys, so I've got the extended LCAs down there with the new ball joints. My friend Michael Day, he's the one with the Laurel from the turbo install video that was freaking going off its head. I'm gonna cruise down to his shop now. I'm on my lunch break. Uh, I've literally been doing my car like bit by bit each day, so it's like probably the most scattered vlog ever. I'm hoping it pieces together in somewhat and makes somewhat sense, but uh, so I'm gonna cruise over to the shop that Michael works at and yeah, he's gonna put them in for me. So let's go. Alrighty guys, just went to Michael's shop to uh, get the ball joints pushed in. And apparently they're not Sylvia ball joints, which is bloody annoying. Drove all the way to Burley to get them and I'm back at the Bursons now. That's where I got them from. Yeah, and I just looked up online which part number I need and it's not the right part number. So I'm going to go in real quick. Hopefully I can just swap them over and then go back to the shop and get going again. So yeah, let's go. Alrighty guys, we made it out to Fabworks now. The guys at Burson swapped it over no problems. And now Miko's going to press it into the LCA, so... And yeah, hopefully it stops raining so then I can uh, try to put the LCAs in after work. But, I don't know. Looking pretty grey out there, so might just be a weekend job. Managed to get my ball joints in all good. As you can see, there's the old one. Pretty messed up. So we got a couple of freshies. Shout out to Miko for doing that one. Pretty much ready now to get them all in. I was missing one nut from the sway bar. So I'm gonna have to get a nut probably tomorrow after work. Other than that, I'm good to go. Pretty keen to see them with the LCAs on 25 mil extension. Yeah, let's go. The next day. I am finally gonna get around to getting my LCAs in the car today. I'm just gonna give them a quick paint actually. I've got them taped up real quick. Touch up paint from the hardware shop this morning and it looks like it's gonna rain now which is gonna suck so there you go you can see the difference the old and the new so there's barely any prep I just pretty much taped up these with some old rubbish that I had so it's just to make it look a bit fresher before they went in yeah. so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other one now Just gonna move them underneath the cover in case it does rain. Um, here we are, I've given them a few coats. They're looking good. All the tape and stuff off now. Ready to go on. Just need to take off the old stuff. Comes out like that. Oops. There we go. She's off. Take the locking tab off. And there we go. So I got the tie rod out and all the the bolts underneath, I don't know, two there, and then there was like a weird washer one there. Yeah, this one's already undone, I just cracked that. Voila. I don't, I'm not sure how hard it's gonna be to bang that out, but I guess we're gonna find out now. All right, I don't know if I should have done that first, but it gives me better access to swinging at this bolt here, hopefully. It's so awkward right now. I think that's going down, I can't tell. Oh, there we go, that's a bit easier. Yeah, there we go. Voila! So as you can see, my old one's still got the bump stops as well. So my new ones also have been removed. 
which is another sort of technique that people get some more angle but then i've also heard that it's it can make things a bit funny so i guess i'll just have to take them out see how they feel if i can't control it maybe try put some bump stocks on they're actually going to be quite a bit bigger hopefully they fit eh? what's the difference between them i think they're actually s14 ones because they've got four holes um so it's like s14 slash r33 i think it's still going to do the trick so i'm going to have to put them in and see how it looks Grab the rubber mallet. Voila. Pick that up. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. Get in the hole. Come on. Oh, there we go. Definitely didn't eat me wheat bix this morning. Fuck. Oh, there we go. Whew. We on. Alright, stuck with that. There you can see it a bit better. Ooh, we in, and then this one. Oh no, I think I should have had to put that through the hole too. <laughs> Trial and error, boys. Yep, so I'm gonna take it out again, try to put the last one through the hole. Hopefully, I don't have to drop it all the way. Probably will. Yep, she's gone. It's actually way easier. So, when you're putting it back on, you want to put those on like so. Because it took me three goes to uh. Get it right. Also need these little suckers. These. Which way do they go? I think that way. Yep. Like so. On the bottom as well. All right. All right. Let's put the knuckle. Wait. What? Like that. All righty. Next, I'm going to do up the knuckle bolt just to pull it all up nice and firm. Well, that's the plan anyway. Twelve seconds later. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. We're down here just fixing up the 180. Chang down there on the ground. Hands on. <laughs> I always stop filming when shit goes wrong because I get frustrated. But that's why me and Brad are here. We're here to fix the situation. Hasn't been going as smoothly as we thought it would. What's the problem, Chris? Tell them chance. What's the problem? <laughs> Well, basically, the ball joints that I got put in the new LCAs, the little taper on the bottom of it isn't going through the knuckle. It's actually a bit bigger, as you can see on the pair over there. Just a little bit bigger. It's caused quite a problem for us down here at um, 180 Garage. <laughs> well, we got so close, but so far. Now, what do I do? Take them out. Go back to the shop. See that one? Straight on. And then this one. Boom. I'm thinking that's the wrong ball joint that I got yesterday, which is annoying. Because now it's Saturday and everywhere's shut. Gotta wait till Monday. It's not really happening, but uh, oh, peace out. Alrighty guys, welcome back. As you would have seen, I had a bit of an issue with the, the ball joints not fitting in. I just did a bit of research and looked up the, the ball joint number for the S13. Pretty sure it's the one that I got, 274. However, I was looking at the one that I need. I think it may be an S14 one because I've had the five stud conversion done, but I'm not really sure it was done before I bought the car. I was just sort of assuming it was still under like the S13 category, but I'm going to just take both of the LCAs, like the old one and the new one into the shop and see if they can tell me what one I need. Let's go try and get it done. Finally got the right parts, I'm pretty sure. Literally been everywhere today. Stopped in at Kudos Motorsports in Arundel, I think it is, to get the right ball joints. And they actually don't have a hydraulic press there, so I took them to back to Fabworks to get them to press them in. Got the old ones out. Everything's pretty much out right now, ready for the new ones to go in. The only thing I need to do is cut down these extended tie rods. May need to get the grinder out, but yeah, otherwise looking good. I also got some thread lock, because I heard you need some thread lock, and a new car scent. Because I left my pads in it the other day and it's stanky. Let's get it done. Finally. Yeah, there we go. Way better. Now I'm going to put some Loctite on these before I do them up fully. I've actually never used this. So. How we do this, man? Their instructions. Twist it and glue it. Put a bit of thread lock on there, boy. Nice 
nice and tight. Probably gonna do the tie rods last because I still have to cut them and yet wanna make sure that the rack's all in the middle or whatever. So first time for me doing it, so I'm literally winging it. All right, so it's just these two. All right, thread locked up. Too bad. The other one, finally getting somewhere. Now I just need to figure out what size that big boy is. Just gotta go to the shop right now, I'm gonna go back to Kudos, try and get some tie rod ends. I only have 12 millimeter rod ends to suit some 14 millimeter rods. Just gonna go get some Maxima rod ends to suit, and yeah, should be back on the road. So I'll try to show you the problem I was having yesterday. Wheels pointing quite a bit outwards. This one's like dead straight, so. Basically just means that the tie rod isn't long enough to make it all the way, basically, and push this out to where it needs to be. So I'm gonna have to use these GK Tech tie rods, which is why I got them anyway, because I had a feeling that was going to happen. And then this is what I needed. Please be 14 mil. You beauty. So that there, the thread, is what I needed to fit on there. Should be good to go now. Cut about 30 mil off each one. I thought, why not start with like a little bit, and then if I need to cut more, I can. But yeah, I put them both in, and they were both um, had a bit of like toe in or something, whatever it is. So I think they were still a tiny bit too long. So I took the rack spaces out for now, just to see how it was. Didn't want to cut it again. And it seems to be sitting pretty straight. I'll go ahead and tighten it all up, and then I'll put the wheels on it, do it up, and yeah, hopefully we can lower it with no problems. Finally, let's see. As everything is done up tight, we're looking good. This one is slightly pointing to the right. If I go around this sword, she's slightly pointing to the right also. So we could be good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheels on now with the spaces on, see how they fit. I've uh, taken both of the lock spaces out they're right here. Also don't have the boots on yet because I was uh, testing if they fit and now the mozzies are out, so I'm gonna keep it like that for today. If they are a good size, it means I can just take like that much more or a little bit more off the tie rod so I can fit these and then it should be happy days. And put the wheels on now, praying this works because literally been at it for like, look at this, this is what I've been dealing with. Mozzie bite right there, and there's probably plenty more where that came from. One there. But I want to get this done. If I don't do it like on the days that I've got after work, then it's the weekend, which means I can't spend it riding. So I like to get it all done during the week. I'm hoping this video actually turns out all right because I filmed it literally over like five days or something, thinking I was going to finish it each day, and then I ran into a problem. So also got my seat to show you guys. It's uh, actually in the car. Yeah, it looks so super dope. But yeah, pretty keen to see this, eh? Also, when I was doing up my bloody, on my bolts, I had my, like, shoulder against this, and it bloody put a tiny dent in there. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can. Well, you know, I tried to push it out from underneath. She's in there good. Guess it just matches the other side. It's cracked. I guess I'm just going to do it up. We'll see how it looks, or whatever. See, I don't know. It's hard to tell, because kind of the rim angle looks the same. I don't know. Maybe we'll just straighten the wheel and see how it sits. Ooh, baby. God damn. Got those broad rails as well. Damn. All right, so put the wheels straight. That looks pretty straight to me. Now we just hope to God that the other side is. It's like in line with the tread almost. Maybe a little bit past it. And yeah, it's actually looking pretty good. I'm surprised. I think I'm gonna go ahead and lower it now, see how it looks. Moment of truth. I'm hella nervous, but super excited at the same time. Here we go. Oh, I've just realized. I've got the bloody tire still under there, boy. I was like, what's going on? Alrighty guys, tire is out. Moment of truth right now. Here we go. Oh, damn. Oh, might 
be on the guard there though a bit. I think I'm gonna take the spaces off maybe and just see how it sits. She's looking fucking good as. Ooh. The stance on that is fucking sick. Uh, but unfortunately, we're hitting the guards here on the tire. If I had a skinnier tire, I might be able to get away with it. And it would look fucking sick, like, because it's nice and pokey. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the spacers off and just see how it sits. Spacer is off. It's been a while. There it is. I think it's like 25 mil on the front, maybe. 25 mil on the rear, 30s on the front. So should put it 30 mil in the guards. Let's see. Ooh. Mmm, a bit worried about this fitment, boy. Might need a fucking smaller spaces if there's wheel gap. I'm um, not a big fan, boy. Spidey pig, spidey pig. Oh my god, the mozzies are that bad. I think I'm gonna get some 25 mil or 20 mil just to make it just that perfect. I don't want it to rub on the guards and then ruin the guards, and I don't want it to like sit in the guards 20 mil, so probably can't see it, but we'll get there. We're back out here, wheels are on. I took it for a bit of a test drive. Bit of rubbish going on. Probably a bit too much to uh, keep on like how it is. Like on the rears it was rubbing for a bit and then I think it just wore down and ended up being all goods. As you can see, it doesn't rub anymore. Uh, this one, yeah, it's quite bad. I'm gonna go look for some smaller spaces, but as you can see, the fitment on it is delish. I'm so happy with the camber just how I wanted it. Probably ideally want a bit less on the rear. I actually am happier to have to run less of a spacer. I've already swapped out um, 30 mil spacers. I went to 25 mil, thinking that would be enough. Yeah, unfortunately it wasn't. So I'm gonna have to buy some 15 mil. I think that'll be the go. Oh, I've also got the seat in. I wanted to film that a bit more, but uh, it's pretty straightforward and it was dark. So I'll show you how she looks though. Looking fine. I'm going to put my um, Grip Royale steering wheel back on with the black and white. I think it will look good. I was thinking the green harnesses were going to look a bit funny with the black and white seat, but um, I'm actually kind of into it. Like, I, Ideally, I would probably like black ones, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. Super happy with uh, finally getting a fix back. I always had these harnesses rubbing on the side of my reclinable seats, and it ended up wearing like a bit of a mark in it, so stoked to finally get that. Got it all done at the back there I'll show you a bit how, how it's done wanted to keep it super clean with the seats and stuff in still looks super good I'm stoked with the carbon fiber like oh my it looks so good the quality of the seat is actually insane it's got little dots here it was cool that used to be black believe it or not like look the Sun's freaking completely faded it I kind of liked it get something fresh soon got that thing from Japan yeah, so that's where we're at right now. I don't know how soon I'm going to get spaces. Approximately 10 hours later. Alrighty guys, I, I thought what would the video be if I really didn't um, take you guys for a test spin after. Look at this convenience right now. Oof. How handy is that? I mean, it'd be better if I didn't have to take the wheel off, but can't win them all. This is the fitment we're working with right now. She, I don't think she scrubs anymore except for this little piece right here which is pissing me off. So originally I had the 30 mil spaces up front. I changed them to 25 mil and then they still were rubbing. Now I was tossing up between whether to go 15 mil or 20 because I didn't want to buy them again and then it have it still rub. Went for the 20s, it still rubs. I think it's all right. If I get, I'm gonna try roll the guards a little bit maybe. This one I think we'll be able to do it fine, but I was just a bit worried about this crack here. I figured if I just do it a tiny bit just here, we might be, we might be all right. Um, I've never actually experienced how you roll guards, so it'll be something new to me. I'm keen to see that. Guys, I'm currently in the back streets of my little neighborhood right now. I'm just out testing my fitment, seeing if it's scraping and whatnot. It seems to be a hell of a lot better than the 25 mils, that's for sure. Still a bit of scraping, like over some bumps and like turns when I'm going a bit fast. Like. over on the left side there. Right side seems to be all right. Woo! Damn, sounds good still. So I'm just gonna get out and uh, try to show you up here how it looks. Yeah, so uh, I'm pretty into it. I still wanna put the lock spaces on from GK Tech. That's the next step, probably when I have another weekend free. Stoked I can drive it now. 
means I've got a daily again. It's kind of good with one seat too because uh, I just chuck my bike in like that, which is super handy. See if she uh, gets up the driveway okay. It's a hell of a lot lower, that's for sure. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you smash like and subscribe if you're new here of course. Catch you in the next video guys, bye! Subscribe. Subscribe. Stub. No, subscribe. Subscribe.